the condition to eternal life is perfect obedience. Wow, no, that's legalism. The condition to eternal life is accepting Jesus. No, no, that's not the condition to eternal life. It is not accepting Jesus. You see, you're accepting Jesus because the condition to eternal life is perfect obedience. That's why you're accepting Christ. You see, don't look at the solution <laughs> as a problem. That's not a problem. The problem is right there. So you're coming to Christ because you're trying to sort this. Because you see, this is what is demanded. Perfect obedience. Perfect, not just obedience. That is what is demanded. When you get into heaven, when God looks at you, he must see not obedience, perfect. Then because of that, then you run to Christ. So when you run to Christ, you are not bringing that perfection down. You are saying that thing is good. It stands there, but I cannot attain to it. Can you help me? You cannot appreciate Christ if you demean the law, depreciate the law. This is what the world has done. In order to make Christ the Savior, then they've done away with the law. So Christ now is just a divine blesser and a motivator. He's no longer the Savior because there's no one to save from. There's no sin to, for people to save from. And that's why Christ came to die on the cross. It is because disobedience is not acceptable. You know, I've heard people say, I'm going to be saved by grace, whatever that means. But that grace must be attached to obedience. Because grace is not another way of running away from obedience. It's supposed to be the vitamin for obedience. You see, by grace, grace must lead you to obedience. That's why you need grace. That's why you need the Holy Spirit. Because obedience is a condition. 